Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Listen, today I'm making this video because I have several uh, orchids in bloom and I have others in bud. And you would think that in winter, this time being winter, you're not going to have much buds or blooms, but I happen to have several and I'm going to share my top favorites with you. So to start off, I have this one. I made a video on this before and this one is Cochleanthes Amazing. This one is a hybrid between Amazonica and uh, I believe it's by color. And this is fragrant and uh, it's beautiful. Now let's go to this other one. The first one that you saw right here, it's a Phalaenopsis and it's called Phalaenopsis Lowling Purple Violet. See right here, and the flowers are spectacular. The color is very bright, vibrant, and uh, it's it's very nice. It's you know I'm liking more and more the red ones, the hybrids that are coming out. So those are the twin bloom so far, and I'm going to show you what's in bud. And the reason I'm excited because uh, they're going to be quite different than what. Is expected. Now this one is a humongous phalaenopsis. It's going to be the red type phalaenopsis and this one's called ox black face. Mm -hmm. So this is supposed to be a big, big red flower. Now let's go to the Schilleriana. It's, if you guys remember I made an unboxing video where I got the Schilleriana from Saba. So there you go. The leaves are amazing. Look at all that coloring. They're really, really nice. Now, what I want to point out is that I already spiked it, and I'm going to have, I would wish for them to cascade. That's why the reason I staked it. So I'm very excited about this one. When it blooms, of course, I will post. And I have another one that I'm excited about. This is a Cymbidium, and the reason I'm excited about it is because I don't know the name of it. But what's exciting about not knowing the na a name for your orchid is that it's, it's fun trying to figure out what the plant might be. So I have, I believe, nine buds, and it's semi-upright, and it's not cascade, but it's, you know, it, it might be easily to identify it once it blooms. Now let's go to this one. Now this one is has right here. It looks like it's going to give me two flowers, and this is going to be a. It's just a new hybrid. It's a red uh, flower. So this one is called uh, Ching Sun Bright Star Red. So this is going to be a nice red red flower. So I will post when this blooms. Now let's go to. This one, I'm excited about this one because this is going to be a green flowered phalaenopsis. And if you haven't seen a green flowered phalaenopsis, this is going to be it. And this is Star Green Beauty. Now, the other one that I have is this one. This is a what is considered a big lip uh, dendrobium. Bigly Dendrobium, and I got it in one bud and only gave me one bloom, but hopefully as it matures, it will give me more flowers. And this one is called, uh, this one's called, right there, Curanda Classic Three Petals and Self. Now let's go to the other one. This is a nice phalaenopsis. It's called, this one is called Yellow Princess and he has nice petals in yellow and the lip is in pink. So that's what I have. And also I wanna show you this one. I made a video on this one. This is my Pephipellum Helene with Glaucophyllum. This is called Pephipellum Pascal Suavetre. There you go, there's that one. And I want to finish up with 
this one. This one is my Oncidium Sherry Baby. And it smells amazing. It smells like chocolate. So if you like chocolate and you like cascading blues, then there you go. This is the orchid for you. Sherry Baby. Awesome chocolate fragrance. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Talk to you later and happy growing. Bye-bye.